there's a suggestion that your mental health is also affected by the condition. And actually thinking about it, it's a neurological condition in CP. So the chances are it's going to have affected your brain in that way. The research kind of shows that we're higher incidence of mental health and um, depression, anxiety, which I have have at times. I got diagnosed when I was two, but I, I had a brain scan when I was 17. And I sat in the doctor's chair and I thought it was a joke because like a quarter of my brain like was completely blacked out. I took that to heart for such a long time, for like a couple of years at least, and I was really like negative mindset wise. And then one day I was like, my brain's always been like that, but someone's just shown me, why am I getting so sad about it? And that was like a real turning point for me in terms of confidence. In 2000 and, I think it was 2018, I did my first international with para dressage. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, and then I just had a complete, well, breakdown's probably not the right word, but I just, the support just went and I just didn't, like my mental health was just getting really affected by it so I just thought well I'm not going to ride anymore. I think it would be better if healthcare services had a lot more education um, and actually recognise that we know ourselves um, and, li and listen to us um, so we can get the, the correct care um, that, that we need. In sport but also in disability as well mental health is something that i think more people need to talk about there's a very good buddhist saying that anger can slay your enemy but it can also slay yourself and actually once i recognized that um i think i was able to overcome barriers myself 